Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Stone here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy X. And we're swimming through the water. We just met up with a new friend named Waka in what must be like the third or fourth world that we've magically teleported to. Not having any idea how we got to any of these worlds. To or from them. And finally we're in a world that we're actually going to stay in. We're not going to be magically transported to, you know, the middle of the... Sahara next time around or something. Actually, that's... never mind. Excuse me. Why am I leaving this battle and I don't know, because it's too close to the beginning of the video. So we have four fishies here. You know, in terms of experience gain, it's quantity actually beats quality at this point in the game. You see, you get four experience for that. Even though, because those could have all counted as one enemy and you would have just gained one experience. So a little bit more on the sphere grid here. We're gonna we've gained a couple levels, so we can actually move a couple more spots on this thing. So to move on down the path here as far as we can go, just make sure you don't go too far, or else you miss a sphere, and then you have to go back for it, and you have to spend levels to go backwards too. So keep that in mind. It's not as much, but it's just enough. So these two upgrades that we have here are both uh, one of them's defense, and one of them is a sword, which is a strength upgrade. So both of those will require power spheres to activate them. So we'll activate this one, and my defense increased by one, as you can see at the top. And you use the next one, strength increased by one. So there we go, and then we just press R to go over to Waka's sphere grid, and we can take a look at where he is. Now he's got an ability sphere back here, a dark attack, which he already has, so we can actually move him forward here. Now this upgrade over here that he's about to get, which is right next to him, is agility by two points. So we will be using a speed sphere for that. Not a speed sphere, but a speed sphere. Yes. Try saying that three times fast. Let's get out of here. Yes. <clears throat> no, don't go back into it now. Let's get to that cutscene, shall we? I know it's coming. Before we get to land here. Yeah, it's right here next to this thing in the water. Stop swimming for a second there. Ah, uh, nice lead. Whoa, 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 dude, what are you doing, man? Surprise butt sex. Got a favor to ask you. <laughs> oh, you what? Your team, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. See, Titus ain't so stupid. Titus. I'm gonna be wrestling with that the whole freaking game, I guess. Ninja Blitz tournaments coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. It's so huge. I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Yeah. You can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on! <laughs> I love how Titus, uh, he, he's just looking at the sun. He doesn't care. And there's no consequences for anything he does sure in this thing. world. And that's what's so intoxicating about it. He's never been here. He doesn't know anything. Our team is gonna rock, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You know, so he's totally, like, totally blissfully ignorant, even if he's talking about being on Walkin's team. I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. I wasn't too far off, either. <laughs> They're just trying to be funny there. There are other things that they haven't... Well, I don't know, though. Well, the, you know, the certain... Th I can think of one thing right off the bat. Man. This is where I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the so Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years. And we never won a game. Well, what? after last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. Well, that's uh, pretty strange. You know, if I played a sport for 10 years and never won a game... So, after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. Ten years without a single win will do that. Yep. Mm. Just look at the Detroit Lions. Last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Ha <laughs> hey, hey. So, you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? Oh, if he turns around yeah, to say it. As long as we play our best. Well, watch his reaction here. If we give like, it our all. I can walk away happy. He's just like, come on, what the uh, fuck no, is No, 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 no. If I say, what's our goal? You say, victory! There you go. When you play in a Blitzball tournament, you play to win. Fucking victory. A. Victory. You're serious? 
Does such a thing exist? <laughs> Indeed it does. And just, I, I can't get over this. Like, every single camera angle that they show this is completely beautiful. The railing on the side, just... I know, it's, all of it is just amazing. The from the sea. Be on guard. There are fiends on the road today. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. Hmm. Who are they? Luzu and Gata, Crusaders. Huh? Cruise of what? <laughs> what? You forgot that too? <laughs> hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Dude, why is it lagging? Ugh. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a lag here. I'm not sure what's going on. You can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in the village. Uh, is it caught up yet? Ugh. I'm not sure what's going on. It's, uh... Shit, let me see. Yeah, the recording's up to like an hour and 20 minutes, so it's probably gonna do this for... Yeah, that scene with, uh, Ludo and Gaza just now, that's the kind of thing that you forget about. You know, when you go through and play the game a second time, you appreciate scenes like that because you know who those characters are and what their roles in the game are. So you appreciate more the scenes back at the beginning of the game before you knew so much. And you kind of just, you know, get a sense of who those characters really are. We'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. There's so much talking, I just can't even Let's see. get a word in edgewise. Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Kata are usually there. Yep. Hmm. All right. Uh, what's up? Over here. Huh? What's up? Dude, what's up? You do remember the prayer, right? What's a prayer? I don't know any prayers. Of course I'd never prayed before in my life. <laughs> Not that he would know that. You must have forgot or something. Here, I'll show you. Oh, I just farted. Perfect time for that, because look, it looks like he would fart while doing this. Watch when he bends over. Poop! See, you can just picture it. Go ahead, you try. Mm. You try. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I was absent the day they caught, taught gracefully. Oh, that was pathetic, tedious, pathetic! You didn't even put your leg out to fart. Well, you did bend okay. over pretty well. Okay, now, go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any Blitzball player would know that prayer. It was the Blitzball sign for victory. Oh, what's this guy doing? Let's talk. Fiends are around, even during the day. Take care not to travel alone, yeah? So everybody here is basically a youper. And I can't say anything because I'm a youper. I just don't have the accent anymore. Me favorite's Lord O'Holland, yeah? Spitting image of me old hubby. Spitting image, I should say. Well, let's see what's going on in here. I'm mostly probably just going to be messing around for the rest of this episode. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Uh, we can go talk to the Crusaders. That's just more cutscenes and less time for me to entertain you with my silly, stupid remarks. This big donut biscuit looking thing in the ground. That's actually gonna... something pretty big is gonna happen there later. I would say probably part 9 or 10. Oh, hello guys, what's up? Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? No, it was my twin brother. I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? What? Why would I? If Sin's near... Are you I'm saying that I killed my wife? Sure, but it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. <laughs> to tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. <sighs> You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta Good Lord. tell him who we are. Yes, sir. <laughs> the toxin. The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blade. When he says that sentence, you can Later, tell he kind of... Our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. Isn't We've really into it. Sin ever since. Like he has doubts what? about it. have been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? There you go. Uh, Good point. Well, we've steered Sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. 
Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Yeah, right. Our like a bunch of people. Never mind. To protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? <sighs> it does seem rather bad. <laughs> I could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. I ain't gonna remember! I don't come from this world! I need food! Okay, whatever. So what's going on back here? Oh, this here is like a map station of some sort. Closest thing to an overworld, I guess, that you really see. You can try talking to the cat, but good luck with that. Hey, that rhymed. Maybe it's a cat in a hat. <laughs> what do you think about that, Pat? Uh... Yeah, nothing much here about tutorials, basic controls, basic terms. We'll get into that later. There's nothing to get into, really. I mean, I'm just about showing you everything. You could pretty much pick this up and play it now, just off of what I told you. Let's take a look in here. I don't want to activate any 10 minute long cutscenes or anything, so... I'm trying to be careful. Well, you don't want to talk to me? As long as I'm around, Besaids Weaving will be known as nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. Ha ha! This little area behind the Crusader's Lodge is another one of these areas where I just would love to sleep. See, I mean, look, it's all shady back here. It's just beautiful. Now, maybe if that person wasn't standing there and I had some privacy, I could sleep better, but I guess you could always go behind the structure there or something. So, still having a little trouble moving around because of the lag. I can, I can always just hook this up to the TV. I'm just not, I don't, I mean, I could turn the TV on, but it's too hot, and the TV puts off so much heat, and it's already like 78 degrees in here, so. <coughs> Man, so this town has been hit by sin before. So they're doing pretty good for themselves, all things considered. I don't think I've visited all the houses. I don't think you need to, but I'm just doing it for the sake of consistency. Now, there is something you'll have to do here. Um, leave. Thank you. Come again. I hope I didn't mess it up by doing that just now. But there's something really important that you can get there, so... And, of course, I will explain that as time goes on, so... There's so much that I'm going to explain when we get there. It's, like it's going to be a one big tutorial fest. You're the guy from the sea, right? I heard about you from Sir Luzu. You mean Sir Loser? Odd clothes you got. <laughs> Thank you! What land you from? This your first time to Besaid? Yep, and hopefully my last. Well, folks, I'm afraid to say it, but I'm out of time, so I think we're just going to have to stop the video there. And next time, we're going to go uh, see if we can present ourselves to the summoner, despite the rumbly in our tumbly. So, I will see you then. Take care, y'all, and thanks for watching. Goodbye now.